good morning welcome back so in my previous video i explained you the concept of qubit physics of qubit fundamentals of quantum mechanic and vector space and in vector space what is the meaning of dimension and why our qubit 0 and 1 are represented only by two dimensional column vector andre ket 0 na ee tarane yake barebeku why we have to write it as only 1 comma 1 and 0 and ket 1 why we have to write it as 0 and 1 i explained in the previous video now let us proceed further see already i mentioned the 0 and 1 not only distinct they can be even in the superposed state also what is that superposed state how to represent this also i mentioned it is nothing but ket psi that is equal to alpha into ket 0 plus beta into ket 1 beta into ket 1 where alpha and beta are nothing but uh, yes they are nothing but probability amplitudes and modulus of alpha square plus modulus of beta square is always equal to 1 so, alpha modulus square plus beta modulus square is equal to 1 and this is nothing but normalization. You might have heard of this term normalization in particle in one dimensional box. Normalization condition, integral of modulus of psi square is always equal to integral of modulus of psi square into dx is equal to 1 between 0 and a. It not necessarily 0 and a, it can be from 0 to v also 0 to uh, you no, yes also surface integration volume integration is three dimensional normalization this is one dimensional normalization so normalization finally it accounts amounts to be one okay so well coming back to this and uh, include this zero and one in this equation so this equation therefore can be written as ket psi is equal to alpha into one zero plus beta into zero one dear students follow carefully ket psi is therefore equal to alpha into 1 alpha alpha into 0 0 okay and uh, this will be beta into 0 beta into 1 so finally we have ket psi is equal to alpha and beta See, these are all Dirac representations Dirac notations okay so superposed state can be written as alpha and beta if alpha is 1 beta 0 or beta 1 alpha 0 alpha and beta both cannot be 1 I told you you know both cannot be one maximum value of alpha is one beta is zero alpha maximum is zero sorry minimum is zero maximum is one similarly beta also but alpha and beta can have in between values also like one by root two one by uh, four root four something like that those things we will discuss later on okay now let us proceed further this qubit can be represented graphically pictorially in a diagram called block diagram in a diagram called block diagram what is this black di diagram block diagram is actually a sphere block sphere actually it is not block diagram it is block sphere what is this block sphere i tell you follow carefully it is a sphere it is a sphere like our earth okay sphere with the unit radius that is a spectrum speciality radius of this sphere is one one meter or one one unit value is one that's all okay and this is having a three coordinate axis say y x and then z something like this i call this as north pole and this as south pole south pole so north pole south pole okay so north pole is represented uh, sorry north pole is representing ket zero state south pole is representing ket one state so zero and one state are represented in block sphere like this sir to represent zero and one why do you need such a huge sphere dear students here is the beauty you see zero and one stella we don't have only zero and one we have n number of states in between 0 and 1. This is nothing but superposition. So, qubits undergo superposition combine after we have 0 and 1 combined together to give another new state. Something like uh, in between also it will give. Okay. So, now let me proceed. I will explain that. I will explain step by step. Okay. I consider one cross section here. This is a cross section. 
See, in a coordinate system, there are three types of coordinates, namely Cartesian coordinate, polar coordinate, spherical coordinate. I hope you are familiar with Cartesian coordinate, that is nothing but x-axis, y-axis and z-axis. x, y, z all are linear parameters, whereas in spher spherical coordinate, here actually we come across with spherical coordinates, there will be three parameters only, three parameters only like x, y, z, but don't think that x, y, z, these are the parameters parameters here. I am attaching XYZ Cartesian coordinate with my sphere. Okay. And thereby I write the address of the sphere. See coordinates and you know, on the point in a details and the point in a address and the test. For example, okay, you consider this coordinate system, Cartesian coordinate system. This is a Cartesian coordinate system. I have a point P here with coordinates X1, Y1, Z1. Does it, what does it mean? You move along X1 unit along X axis, Y1 along Y axis z1 along z axis you get this point and the, so it is something like locating the particle so this particle is located with the help of three coordinates x1 y1 z1 they are called basis of p they are called coordinates of p so here we have three we have three one of them is radius one of them is linear quantity remaining two are angular quantities they are together called polar sorry spherical coordinates represented by r theta and phi I hope you are going to study this in uh, higher semesters mathematics. So spherical coordinates uh, like X, Y, Z are Cartesian coordinates, R, Theta, Phi are spherical coordinates. Now you take any point on the sphere, just picture is globe, picture is football or basketball. You take any point on the surface, okay, this point on the surface, that point can be joined to the center of the sphere. That point can be joined to the center of the sphere like this. Okay, now that line, right, makes some angle theta with the vertical axis that is z-axis, z-axis, okay. Next, it will be having some projection, this is the projection and this projection makes an angle phi with x-axis, right, okay. Now, just by knowing theta, phi and length r, we can easily find out the location of this point location of this point and this point represents one of the state it may represent zero state it may represent state one it may represent in between state also that is a kit psi right and of course this length is one because i consider this as a sphere of unit radius unit radius okay so welcome back coming back to this diagram look at the diagram if I treat this as the line this as the line so this line if it is along z axis theta will be 0 so now you move the line either this way or this way or this way theta keeps on changing so what will be the final value of theta yes you are correct theta can vary between 0 and pi so when the line is along z-axis 0, when it is along minus z-axis it is pi, that is 180 degree. So, this is the range of theta. Next, what about this uh, phi? What about phi? Can you make a guess? Okay, try, try. Yes, you are correct. Phi can take values anywhere from 0 to 0 to 2 pi. How, sir? It is very simple. See, this is the projection. This is the projection. Well, it can rotate in this dotted circle. This projection, okay, can rotate in the dotted circle. So, when it rotates completely, angle will be 360 degree. So, theta takes value from 0 to pi and phi takes takes value from 0 to 2 pi and using this diagram using all these values we can show that we can show that our psi this proof is not required this psi is equal to cos of theta by 2 0 ket plus e to the power of i phi e to the power of i phi into just wait I remove this part and into sine of sine of theta by 2 ket 1. So, this is very important equation. See, I am talking right now about the representation of qubits using block sphere. Block sphere is an imaginary sphere where 
uh, radius of the sphere is considered to be 1 and the coordinates are spherical coordinates r theta and phi theta and phi are as shown in the diagram north pole can be taken as 0 k south pole can be taken as 0 uh, k 1 okay in between any position will be k psi okay k 0 k psi k 1 now k psi is given by this equation this cannot be this need not be proved it proof is available okay if, if, if required i will put it in the description box and dear students i will share the study material for this quantum computation okay i will give you the google drive link you can call, download the notes and you can go through the uh, hard course and, uh, pdf of the notes okay well cos theta by 2 0 k plus e to the power of i phi sin theta by 2 k 1 okay now let us take some values for let us assign some values for uh, theta and psi theta and psi different cases i will consider case 1 if theta equals 0 just look at theta and psi equals 0 where when this condition satisfies yes when this line is along positive z axis when the line is along positive z axis projection means it's a shadow will not be there the shadow will be at the point itself therefore theta is zero sorry phi is zero and because this line is coinciding with z axis even theta is also zero i hope you got it so theta equal to zero phi equal to zero means position is here where it is along north pole along north pole means ket zero that means if I substitute the values here I should get ket 0 let us check whether I get ket 0 or not so ket psi equals cos theta by 2 that is cos 0 by 2 into ket 0 plus e to the power of i 0 into sin 0 by 2 that is 0 into ket 1 uh, theta by 2 is 0 by 2 0 by 2 is 0 only well ket psi is therefore cos 0 is 1 1 into k to 0 plus e to the power of i 0 is 1 into this entire thing is 0 because sin 0 is 0. Yes, finally what happens? K to psi is equal to 1 into k 0 means k 0 only. That means my qubit is in 0 k state. That means it is along north pole. This is the condition. Can you try the next one? Yes, let us try one more. Let uh, theta equals pi by 2 how okay let me take theta pi i pi by 2 i will consider later on still phi is equal to 0 where is the location see earlier it was this way now i am rotating through totally 180 degree that is why theta becomes pi and still the projection is here only projection means a shadow i am standing here my shadow is here only so there, there is no projection therefore phi equal to 0 substitute the values over here what you will get you have to get what yes sir i have to get ket 1 let us see whether we get ket 1 or not substitute modi so this becomes ket psi equals cos 180 by 2 that is pi by 2 theta is pi pi by 2 ket 0 plus e to the power of i into 0 sin pi by 2 ket 1 okay theta by 2 ket 1 well simplify ket psi equals cos 180 sorry pi by 2 cos 90 degree yes you are correct it is 0 plus e to the power of 0 is 1 into sin pi by 2 is 1 into ket 1 so ultimately what happens ket psi is equal to ket 1 that is what i told you know that means we have to get back to the south pole for this condition did you understand so like this we can have many more conditions let us try one more condition i already tried for theta equals 0 and phi equal to 0 theta equals 180 degree means opposite that is along negative z axis and phi equal to 0 so first i tried along positive z now it is along negative z now i take some other value for theta which value nodi if it is like this 0 degree let me take it like this that is along which axis along y axis then what will be the theta value what will be the theta value yes you are correct it is 90 degree so third condition third condition if theta equals pi by 2 pi by 2 and still phi equals 0 i take phi equal to 0 what will happen see whenever whenever your uh, 
line is along particular x axis or y axis or z axis phi will be zero only because the projection will be there only only when it is inclined like i put my hand this way its a shadow will be right below suppose if i put my hand like this the shadow will be right below this and there will be some projection like that okay so now coming back to this substitute these conditions in the equation let us see what happens okay ket psi equals cos theta by 2 that is nothing but cos pi by 2 by 2 that is cos pi by 4 so into this if you put pi by 2 it becomes cos pi by 4 into ket 0 plus e to the power of i 0 into sin pi by 4 ket 1 okay ket 1 Sorry, so the things are getting overlap. Please follow carefully. Okay, ket 1. Now simplify this further. When you simplify, what happens? Ket psi is equal to cos pi by 4. What is cos pi by 4? Yes, it is 1 by root 2, cos 45 degree. 1 by root 2, ket 0, plus it is again 1 by root 2 e to the power of 0 is 1 sin pi by 4 is nothing but sin 45 1 by root 2 into 1 so this can be written as ket psi is equal to root 2 is common so 0 ket plus 1 ket Nodi here so see here what is happening it is ket 0 plus ket 1 plus therefore we call this as plus state come on tell me what might be your alpha and beta values Sir, what is this alpha and beta? Please recall, psi is basically alpha plus beta along with the ket 1 and ket 0. Ket 0 multiplied by alpha, ket 1 multiplied beta. On that basis, if you do, alpha is 1 by root 2, beta is 1 by root 2. So, alpha modulus square plus beta modulus square is still 1. You know how alpha square is 1 by 2? plus beta square is 1 by 2 it is equal to 1 only this is what I told you alpha maximum can be 1 when alpha is 1 beta will be 0 here alpha is 1 by root 2 probability amplitude is 1 by root 2 what is probability density it is 1 by 2 means 50 percent that means there is a 50 percent of possibility finding the electron in the spin uh, down state zero represents spin down state and 50 percent in the spin up state understood so spin down state is 50 percent spin down state is 50 uh, percent so that alpha modulus square plus alpha beta modulus square comes out to be one so half plus half and finally, we can write this as psi is equal to 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2. This is the column vector. Or we can write this as root, uh, sorry, 1 by root 2 into 1, 1. So, by taking 1 by root 2 common factor. Dear students, you should have solid knowledge of matrices and determinants to understand the quantum computation. And of course, whatever the mathematics I am using here, all, all, all these things are very familiar to you. You might have studied these things in PUC matrix and determinants and squaring modulus all these things are known to you so I assume that you are familiar with these operations I am proceeding further okay well please share your comments if you find any difficulty you please feel free and share with me well let me take one more case one more case and I finalize this case number four this time I take theta 180 sorry theta pi by 2 theta pi by 2 Okay, uh, next uh, phi is equal to pi, pi, what will be the answer, let us see, substitute in this formula, that's all, this formula becomes therefore, ket psi is equal to cos pi by 4 ket 0 plus e to the power of i pi sin ket 1 right that is equal to 1 by root 2 cos pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 ket 0 plus this is nothing but minus 1 we can show that e to the power of i phi is equal to minus 1 into sin of sorry sorry i forgot phi by 4 i should write here sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 ket 1 so this can be written as 0 ket minus 1 ket divided by root 2 this is also represented by ket minus this is ket plus this is ket minus so this way we can have many superpositions here i have written only 
four only four cases out of which only two are superposed this one first one is individual zero second one is individual one third one is uh, superposed plus state fourth one is superposed minus state okay so first one is along plus z axis second one is along minus z axis next this one is along plus x axis sorry plus y axis this one is along minus y axis this way or you can even take it as x and minus x also because 90 degree nodi theta 90 degree barbekandre it need not be along y axis it can be even along x axis also so if this is along positive x axis this will be along negative x axis like that so this way we can represent the cubits any dot you take any dot on the sphere you take they all represent cubits so how many dots we can have n number of dots we can have they all represent they all represent cubits so this way block sphere is very useful in representing cubits okay dear students i will stop the discussion here so far i explained how to represent the uh, cubit with the help of block sphere both individual state and superposed state so in my next video i will talk about the uh, combination of cubits 0 and 1 combined together what will happen 0 0 combined together what will happen there comes what is called multiple cubits so far whatever i explained is only single qubit single qubit is of no use i need multiple qubits so we should have thorough knowledge of multiple qubits okay i will stop here thank you thank you very much